so much easier to remember. Um, and then Nightshades I is... Abrakira. Abrakira. Um, so, next question from Tessinner. If you could cosplay three of any Sentai or writers, which would they be? <laughs> I think Abrakira <laughs> would be one. <laughs> uh, well, Zard Fire would be one of mine. <laughs> yeah. Um... Common Rider Fies and Common Rider Kutaterita. Uh, Mine would be Wolzard Fire. Um, let's see. Uh, double in um, uh, Heat Metal form. And uh, uh, O's as Tajito. I'm a fire fan. Don't make fun of me. <laughs> no okay. one's judging you. <laughs> Except for everybody who's watching this show. <laughs> <laughs> okay, our last question from to center is: If Megazords were real, what should which should our military use? That's pretty fucking boss. If our military can use Megazords, that'd be pretty boss. Hmm. You go I'm really, first. Gonna, I'm really gonna have to think about this one now. Oh, I already know mine. Okay, Power Rangers. Ahead. Power Rangers in space that Megazord, because one, it's a battleship, and two, it only needs two parts, a head and the body. It's pretty easy to assemble, and it's pretty big, so it can basically kill anything. And it's a battleship! It's a battleship when it's not transformed, so it can, like, just orbital, like, destroy anything. Hmm. I would actually, it's not a Megazord yet, but I would have to say Samurai Hao would be it, because it's just so fucking huge and the beam that it shoots out would be so fucking huge that it could just blow up whatever whatever we're targeting and just be done with it <laughs> oh. and you could just run him over too because it's huge um, oh I should have said go jujujing go jujing that would be another good one Oh, that's right. You know what? Yeah, screw that. Goju Jujin, because it's its own Megazord. It's a drill. It's a spaceship. It shoots lasers. It's a T-Rex. It people in the dick. <laughs> T-Rex. <laughs> it's got an awesome drill for an arm. In a drill poker. Or a dick poker. <laughs> yeah. It did poke it. You saw that episode. Yeah, uh, I it. saw the episode. Okay, our next Moving question. on. <laughs> our next question is from Mistress of Sand. A new one, awesome. I know, and it might actually be a girl. Dun dun dun. Anyway, might be. We don't might know. Might be. Might be. <laughs> might be. Have any of you seen any of the old Super Sentai? If so, which did you, which did you like, and which did you hate? Oh. Um, I have not seen anything prior to um, see, oh, Decker Ranger. Decker Ranger. I haven't seen anything prior to that. Uh, of actual of actual Super Sentai, not English adaptation of Super Sentai. Uh, uh Battle Fever J. Hate that one. <laughs> I saw. I actually saw it. I couldn't make it. Past. Really? But yeah, I actually went back and saw it. I could not watch past like six episodes. <laughs> Could not stand it. Uh, my favorite one from past seasons. God, that eagle one. Uh, Jetman. Jetman. <laughs> Jetman. That's a good one. Uh, so yeah, that's my answer. <laughs> okay, I haven't seen any prior to Decker Ranger. I know Shun me. You know, beat me Shunning with sticks. you. Beat, beat me with sticks. Whatever. Uh, but I haven't seen any of them. Uh, the last, the second and last question from Mistress of Sand is, what is the ugliest Megazord, Megazord you've seen in any series? That sounds like a woman question. Yeah, it is a woman <laughs> question, because, because you, you kill people with Zords, they're not supposed to be pretty. <laughs> yeah, I, whatever. It's <laughs> Fine. We'll assume it's a girl for now. Uh, what is the ugliest Megazord I've ever seen? Oh, shit. That's a tough one. Because uh, I don't really look at them as ugly or awesome. I look at them as awesome. Uh, let's just say Operation Overdrive because they're all terrible. 
Yeah, it's, that's a good category to throw it in. Um, I'd have to say the ugliest Megazord I've seen is the Turbo Rescue Megazord. <laughs> that is an ugly Megazord. It reminds me of, like, it should be in a hockey game or something with that goalie mask. No, no, <laughs> what was it? The, uh, the ugliest Megazord is the Omega Megazord from Lightspeed Rescue. The one that the train makes. It doesn't I... really even have a face. <laughs> like a Halloween costume? Yeah, it's just a little thing uh, pops out a little bit. It's like, oh, I guess that's supposed to be the head. <laughs> like, it's, it's, the, it's the most ugliest thing ever. Anyway, okay. Uh, our last batch of questions is from KillerJack112. Um, and I'm going to say this the same way that he wrote it. Favorite henching device, go! That wasn't really a question, dude. That was more of a statement. Uh, and <laughs> we're not dogs for your entertainment. Well, we're entertaining you, but we're not animals. Let's get in a question next time. Whatever. Uh, you go first. Okay. I told Nightshade prior to this recording that he's not going to like my answer to this question. All right, go. And I'm going to give you a hint as to tell which henching device it is. Are you're you gonna, ready? You're, you're gonna make us guess. I'm gonna make you guess, but it's gonna be an easy guess. Great. Right, you ready? Alright, let's go. Kuga, Agito, Yuki, Oh, God! Kuki, 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 I love the K-Touch, I'm sorry. You have to admit, if you completely forget Decade and how much it sucked, and just focus on the driver, that is the coolest driver ever. Oh, God. <laughs> just ignore the rest of Decade. I know it's hard. I know it is hard. <laughs> you know it's hard. Oh, my God. Oh, it's pink. It's pink. I know it's pink. <laughs> But it sounds cool, and it makes me happy, and it, made, it gave me an easy way to remember the, you know, previous nine Kamen Rider seasons. You know what's sad is that I have that device kind of sitting on my wall. I will take it if you don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I have the driver that goes with it too, so I kind of need it. <laughs> anyway, now that Nightshade officially hates my guts to the core, <laughs> what's your favorite Henshin device, Nightshade? Uh... <sighs> The Fies driver, uh, the cell phone, because uh, it one it, it can turn you can it can turn you into a superhero and it turns into a gun, <clears throat> like not uh, like a pretty boss gun too. So I guess you also like the shiny Ixa driver then. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, that one's pretty cool. <laughs> Not shiny Ixa, it's Ixa Rising. Oh, that's right. Rising, shining, whatever. Uh, shining <laughs> I, I didn't like Ixa at all. In <laughs> it was the whore belt. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it got around more than Birth did. Or I think it got around the same exact amount as Birth. Or something like that. Birth, birth might be a little more. Um, so, uh, uh, Nightshade likes the Fires Driver, and I... Out of personal preference, like the Decade Driver, uh, specifically the K Touch, specifically the K Touch. Um, okay, so our last question is: uh, coolest Ranger suits. What's your favorite? I think we pretty much already answered this. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Abed I Killer. Wolzard Fire. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, All right, so that that's it for our questions. Um, please send in more. We're always willing to uh, have great discussion uh, based on our questions, and feel free to post your responses to the uh, to the questions in the comments down below. Also, uh, send us your questions via through Google or uh, via our YouTube accounts, uh, X Slider Nine X and Night Shadow Four, because uh, we'll be able to get to them faster, and we know we won't miss any. Yep. All right. Um. Oh, you know what my watch says? It's superhero time. Superhero time. Yeah, it's superhero time. Fuck yeah, superhero time. Superhero time starts now. Superhero time. Rotator. Switch on. Kamen Rider Falls. 
れに来た So, superhero time.、Um, we've got a lot to discuss. We've got to discuss four episodes. Four episodes. Oh, man. What should we talk about first? Go Kaiger、uh, or Foes? Go Kaiger. Both、uh-huh. Go Kaigers and then both Foes. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. So,、uh, Go Kaiger from two weeks ago.、Uh, that was the one where Don made that、uh, the Go Kai、uh, Buster? Go Kai Galleon Buster, I think. Go Kai Galleon Buster. Something, something along those lines. I think that's it. Dude, he, he, he's boss. He should be like a mad scientist. It was a redeeming episode for、oh, uh, Hakase. Yeah,、um, yeah definitely.、Um, so, yeah, basically throughout the episode, Doc wants to create a weapon that destroys this powerful、uh, <laughs> Dunk Yax shield. Which remind, I'm sorry, everything fucking reminds me of Shin Kenger nowadays. The episode where Shin Kenger had that monster with the huge shield and they had to use Samurai h o w a to be. Anyway, so there's a, there's a monster with a huge. <laughs> huge <laughs> shield a, with a goofy looking face. Yeah, that's. Yeah, that, that, that. Yeah. Anyway, so, so he, they had to destroy this monster with a shield, and this monster prized the shield above everything else. And first,、uh, Hakase created a gun that accepted two Ranger keys. Except、um, it blew up and fried on him, so.、Um, it didn't blow up, but more or less,、uh, like, he fired it at the monster, and, like, the monster just, like, reflected it. And, like, I guess after, like, five seconds, six seconds, it kind of blew up in his hand.、Uh, let's, let's show that clip right now. That's actually a pretty boss clip. Let's show it. Mina! So, as you can see, the gun didn't really hold up very well. <laughs> yeah, but it was a really good it. it was a really good prototype, though. I love the double final wave. That's actually. I'm gonna find Raven! I was actually kind of hoping he would incorporate that into their weapons from now on, but then again, though, I guess that'd be kind of like cheap. But whatever. So, Hakase works on a new way、uh, to, to create a weapon、uh, that all of them could focus their Ranger keys into and fire a powerful shot. And that's when they use the O Ranger's Grand Power, which isn't really a Megazord power. The O Ranger's Grand Power is the Gokai Galleon Buster.、Um, so they all insert their Ranger keys into the Gokai Galleon Buster, and then it'll fire a powerful traditional Sentai finisher. And it was, it was pretty cool. I mean, that was really fun watching the, shi- watching the、uh, silhouette of the ship, or the fr- front of the ship, like go after him. Let's show that clip. Let's show that one too. That's pretty cool. I personally think that was one of the best、um, moments of Go Kaiger. Like, just, I mean, it did, you don't have to be in a Megazord to be pretty fucking boss. That was pretty boss. And, and the design of the gun is fantastic, too. Oh, God, yeah. The way he comes charging in with the gun, like, he's just like, ah! <laughs> it was awesome. It was. So fun. He, he was. Doc was still being Doc, except he had like a bazooka of a weapon. <laughs> Just. It was really. It looked awkward to hold with one person, so it looked funny, but he was really being serious, so it was fun. I'm surprised, though, that 